I think first of all I would like to congratulate Dr. Adrian Thank you. and for completing the FECO training program with uh, very good uh, expertise and very good uh, I think the attitude of learning and uh, I think you had not done a single case of cataract like in last 10 years I guess no. and but of course you were uh, involved in clinical uh, experience and uh, you were a busy practitioner in yes. Romania I and, see a lot of operations and a lot of operations you were assisting but I think this was his first experience when he started FECO and I am very glad to see the way you have progressed during your training course so I would like to just ask few questions to you and before that I must congratulate you Thank for you. such an impressive training and you underwent so just to start uh, with uh, your uh, the initial day like we always went stepwise yes. when we started and that I think uh, did you do you think that it helped you when we shifted from weight lab to the stepwise learning? How, how did you feel when you started learning? Very, very good because if you learn steps, it's easier. Yeah. And uh, if you learn one step, you know what to do, you have to do. Interpretation is the mother of the learning. And if you do one surgery from the beginning to the end, it's uh, hard to manage all the things that happen in the operation. But if, if you do steps and you think only that, that steps to make it right, yeah. it's, more, it's, more, it's more focused. And as you rightly said, that any surgery is like building from one step to another step. Right. And I think in last uh, few cases, you showed us that uh, you really learned from the initial experiences. and made it perfect uh, in the future. How was your experience of the 3D videos that we were showing, even live surgeries you could see, and yes. also some edited videos that we showed? The experience with 3D is very good because uh, you see how you, you, you can do a thing. Yeah. You have the ability to do it, but you don't know how to do it. How the surgeon sees. How so the you surgeon know see. how, the, how to see it through the surgeon's eyes. Exactly. And if you watch the video, you can do that. Yes. And you are more confident to do it if you see it. And I was particularly impressed with your attitude that you always stayed in the operating room even when you don't have to operate. So you were always observing what me what I was doing or my colleagues were doing in the operating room and that's very useful so even if you don't have to uh, you don't have your own surgery it's very important that you keep observing and analyzing things and I think it's very good that you also learned about giving the peribulbar blocks to the patient making patients more comfortable adjusting the parameters of PECO so how was it your experience in handling the PECO machine because I think that is one important thing apart from learning the steps and the technique. How did you, you know, started thinking about the FECO parameters and how did you apply during your surgery? Uh, the FECO machine is uh, very good and helps you a lot uh, in the surgery. Yeah. And uh, at the beginning you don't feel the power of the machine or but you observe if the anterior chamber is stable, if the power is okay when you enter in the and uh, you learn us, you teach us about the power and how to feel when you make a movement. And if you trenching it and you pu push the nucleus, it means that you need more power. Yes. And if you uh, push a nucleus come to you, you have uh, too yes. much power. And I try to uh, adjust it. Yes. Uh, the, the vacuum and uh, the aspiration, uh, they are. Uh, uh, we are set. You don't need to make many variations. variations so right. So that one parameter you are comfortable, and then you can, you have to just do small yes. variations. And small variation and at the vacuum and aspiration, you have the possibility to press the pedal. Yeah, in uh, linear fashion. And uh, you get the power you want to yes. get in some cases. And you, if you have only one piece of nucleus, mm -hmm. you press lower on the pedal and. Uh, uh, stay on the on the aspiration and give power only when it's uh, that's great. And I think one more uh, thing is that you also learned how to tackle the small pupil. Yes, I think that's uh, one of the issues uh, in your early 
career because uh, you are doing even a normal case of that uncomplicated and during the first year it goes down the pupil goes exactly. down and then you are tense so now you know how to put the eye issues also exactly. so that can bail you out of any situation yes. and your te technique is uh, uh, better because uh, you put uh, on posterior stages and uh, i have seen uh, many cases when the eye issues are put in the clear cord yeah. yes and uh, it's good that way but uh, uh, when you do faco they are not so comfortable yes being behind is more comfortable to maneuver the instruments in the side eye so uh, uh, whenever we i i try to teach the steps i think uh, i try to teach it with some logic behind why you are doing this so you can for each technique i think there are uh, different ways to it, do it and it's okay you can try doing different techniques but there has to be a particular logic behind it exactly so how do you find that have you improved your analytical skills over the period yes i think uh, you can difference yes <laughs> now <laughs> because you will be in a different situation when uh, you are doing surgery in real life when you exactly. go back when there is no supervisor with you exactly. and at that time the really what helps is the these analytical skills because you cannot do thousand surgeries under supervision you can just do few but when you learn this analytical technique i think once you know how to analyze that situation you can use that in thousand cases you just don't need any exactly. super It's important to observe the mistake if you are doing the yes. part. Stop and think fast what to do to resolve that mistake. Right. This is very important. And uh, when something is not to going, like for example, you have a, a soft cataract and you do a ball and you cannot extract. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. The the pieces you must not try to extract. You must yes. to stop. Start thinking. Start thinking. Analyze the situation. And, and then do it. Do it. that's very important and that will help you in your long career and we wish you from our side all the best for thank your you. future career thank, thank you very much very much for coming here we are thank you. we are very happy with your progress and i'm sure we'll be in touch in future yes. also and uh, all the best for your trip back home i think you are still <laughs> missing your home so i will see my home yes. yes and uh, give our regard from our hospital the entire team of and they support us uh, very well for this process of uh, blood that is important to have uh, people who know what to do and yeah. that is that is very important and so to have a good you. good teacher yeah <laughs> if you don't have a good teacher don't feel you put your hands and you somebody will push you always yes. Yeah. yes you can do it yes <laughs> yes that and encouragement you, and that has to be you you progress and you when you have uh, near to you a person who is uh, positive and give you confidence yes i think that's very important and I, for that matter i think dr nidhi me dr umesh and uh, all of us were all of us uh, there and back as a team team yes. because uh, the team. teaching is very exhaustive thing and we have to work with you all the time yes. and the team is very useful and i'm glad that you appreciate our efforts even our staff members who are there all throughout in our operating room helping you with the instruments and everything so thank you so much for the appreciation and all the best thank you